No pin, no problem. Dahil sa video natin ngayon, ay tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano po ba mag-manual verification. And i-discuss natin no, ano po ba yung tungkol sa pin through wall shooter. And also, ano po ba yung kailangan natin okay, para makapag-manual verification po tayo. And also, okay, sasagutin ko po yung ilan sa mga frequently asked questions. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, no, tapusin nyo lang po ang video na ito. What's up mga Tsugians? Welcome back to Kans TV. Yes, ito na po. Okay? Yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, no? Yung last vlog natin. Okay? Uh, this time po, no? Kailangan mo po itry yung pin troubleshooter. Okay? So, dito po, no? Kailangan nyo po mag-upload ng documents na napapatunay po na sa iyo talaga yung account. Okay? Alright, so gagawa po tayo ng tutorial about niyan. Okay? Kung hindi pa rin natin ma-receive yung ating pin. Okay? Sinabi ko po doon na kapag hindi po dumating yung aking pin ay gagawa po ako ng uh, video tutorial okay about sa manual verification at nare-record ko po yon at ngayon po ay isi-share ko po yon sa inyo okay so by the way pang 3 months ko pa ngayon okay so yung last chance ko po or pang 4 months ko po ay sa June 16 2021 pa po so bakit po napaaga yung pag pin troubleshooting ko or yung manual verification ko okay kasi consistent po akong nagre-resend ng pin okay every 3 weeks talaga no okay nagre-resend ako and wapot po ako ngayon no sa pang tatlo okay so kung hindi pa kayo marunong no kung paano po ba mag-resend ng pin ilalagay ko po doon sa description box ang link So ano po ba ang pin troubleshooter? Ang pin troubleshooter po ay isa po itong option na pwede natin gawin para po ma-verify yung ating Google AdSense account. Okay? So true documentation po ito instead po na pin po ang ating gagamitin. Okay? So in short po, ito po ay alternative sa pin. So may dalawang bagay na dapat natin tandaan. Okay? Una po diyan ay dapat po ay nakapag-request na po tayo ng pangatlo, okay? Sa ating pin. Ang pangalawa po ay dapat po ay meron tayong valid ID. So dapat po ay nakapag 3 request pin na po kayo. Alright? So hindi po kasali dito yung date po na na-first generate yung ating pin. Okay? Mag-email yan si Google AdSense. Okay? So hindi po yan kasali. Magsisimula po yung counting from the date po na kayo mismo po ang nag-request to recent po doon sa inyong Google AdSense account. Alright? So in case po sa akin... After one month pa po ako nakapag first request, okay? So, yun no, hinintay ko talaga pero hindi dumating. So, after that one, no, in my first request, I, every three weeks na po ako nagre-request ulit. Yan po yung aking uh, technique or aking tips para sa inyo, no? So, dapat po, no, two to three weeks kung kaya po. Okay, andun na po yung recent, mag-blow na po yun. So, mag kayo agad para mas mapaikli po yung time na paghihintay nyo po. Alright, so para mas maintindihan natin, okay, ipapakita ko po sa inyo yung aking timeline. February 16, 2021, ito po yung date kung saan na first generate yung aking first pin, okay? So, napadala po ng sulat si Google Adsense sa akin kasi na-reach ko na po yung verification threshold which is $10, okay? So, after one month po po ako nakapag first request sent, okay? Noong March 16, 2021, okay? And after 3 weeks po, nag-reset ulit ako, okay, for the second time, April 8, 2021. And lastly po, noong April 29, okay, third request ko na po iyon. Alright, so, noong May 17, 2021 po, dito po ako nakapag manual verification, okay? So, makikita talaga natin, okay, na napaaga yung aking pag manual verification kasi ayoko talagang umabot ng 4 months na hindi ko pa po na-verify yung aking account, okay? So, makikita natin doon sa ating notification na your payments are currently on hold. Action is required to release payment. So, kung hindi po natin verify after 4 months, ito po ang lalabas sa ating Google AdSense account, okay? Your ad units are not displaying ads because you haven't yet verified your address, okay? So, yun po, no? So, kailangan po natin, okay, 
kung pwede po no i-follow up po natin sa ating post office kasi ako no meron ako nakita doon maraming mga pin po na hindi na deliver or hindi na claim ng owner so kailangan po natin mag-follow up and also to resend pa ulit-ulit po All right so proceed po tayo sa pangalawa okay ito po ay kailangan po natin ng valid ID okay so yung ID po natin ay dapat po ay government issued IDs okay so yun po ang kailangan and mas bayin po ay primary IDs so meron naman po yung iba ay hindi primary pero nag-attach po sila doon ng police clearance ganyan no so scan po natin yung ating mga IDs okay at pwede rin natin gamitin yung ating phone no i-capture lang natin okay ang, ang importante po dyan ay dapat po ay visible and clear okay and magre-reflect po yung ating home address which is dapat tugma doon sa nilagay natin sa ating Google AdSense. Okay? Alright, so bago natin simulan ang tutorial, okay, sasagutin ko muna yung mga frequently asked questions. Okay? So, ganito po ang aking situation. Okay? Yung ID ko po ay iba po sa nakareflex sa aking Google AdSense account. Okay? Or, ang ID ko po ay wala pong home address. Pwede po ba yun? Ito po papasok yung ibang dokumento na pwede mo pong i- attach okay to confirm po yung ating mailing address all right so pwede niyo po gamitin okay yung ating uh, telephone bills uh, bank statements or uh, rent receipts okay so dapat po doon makita yung ating name okay and also yung home address po okay which is po dapat po ay tugma doon sa ating Google AdSense account all right so pwede po yun okay mag-attach lang po kayo okay to support your ID or your documents. Okay? So, ganito po, no? Yung aking home number or yung aking street number po ay uh, mali po. Okay? At hindi po nakatugma doon sa aking Google AdSense account. Okay? Okay lang ba yun? Okay, so kung mali po ang ating home address number, yung ating street number, okay? So, huwag po tayo mag dahil okay lang po yun. Okay? Ang tinitingnan po ni Google AdSense ay yung ating home address mismo, yung ating barangay, okay? Yung ating city or town, yung ating province, yun po ang binabasihan niya, okay? So meron po mga situation na ganun, okay? Nag-error or mali po. So i-consider po ni uh, Google AdSense 'yan, okay? Paano po ba natin may babalik yung ating ads kapag ma-demonetize yung ating channel dahil hindi natin na-verified yung ating uh, billing address, okay? And kailan po ba ito may babalik? O kapag ma-demonetize po ang ating channel due to pin not verified, okay, ang ating gagawin ay we need to wait until our AdSense account will be verified. Okay? So, dapat natin kumplituhin yung uh, verification process and, okay, pag ma-verified na po yung ating billing address ay the ads will continue running on your videos. Yun lang po, no? So, dapat po natin, okay, antayin po Okay, at magre-resend talaga, talaga tayo, no? Okay? Uh, every 3 weeks para abot yung time na mag-pin troubleshooter tayo ay mas madali na lang po yung ating pag-verify ng ating uh, Google AdSense account. So, paano po ba yung kita ko? Mawawala po ba yun? Okay, so yung kita mo po, no? Doon sa Google AdSense account mo ay hindi po yun mawawala. Okay? So, andun lang yun. Okay? At makiklaim mo yan. Okay? Ito lang ang gagawin mo, no? Dapat po ma-verified yung ating Google AdSense account. Dapat nakapag-add ka na po ng iyong uh, payment method. And also, na-reach mo na po yung ating uh, minimum, okay, threshold, which is 100 US dollar. And I'm very much sure po ay makukuha mo yan, okay? And ito po ang aking situation, okay? So, na-verify ko na po ang aking billing address at saka lang dumating yung tatlong pin letters ko, okay? So, ano po ba yung silbi ng tatlong pin letters? Alright, so nangyayari talaga yan, okay? Na-late po yung ating pin letters at tayo po yung na-verified na po ang ating uh, billing address, okay? So, ano po ba yung silbi niyan, okay? So, wala na po, okay? Wala na po yung silbi at pwede nyo po ang gawing, okay? Remembrance, okay? So, ang purpose talaga ng ating pin is para ma-verified po ating billing address. Since na-verify mo na po using the manual verification, so okay na po ang lahat, Okay? Alright, so kung meron kayong mga katanungan, you can comment down below po. Okay? So I think, no, yun lang yun. Ay, meron pa palang last question. Okay? Paano nga ba mag-troubleshooting? Okay? Or paano po ba mag-manual verification? Oo. Oh, 
ito po ang sagot. Alright, so dito po sa home ng ating Google AdSense, okay, under po sa to do, i-click nyo po yung tatlong dot. Okay, so lalabas po itong help, i-click nyo po yan. Alright, so magra-route po tayo dito, pin verification overview. Ayan, so scroll down lang po natin, okay. So dito po, okay, makikita po natin yung pin troubleshooter. Click nyo po yan. Okay, so ito po no, pin troubleshooter. Alright, so dapat po no, yung earnings natin ay greater than $10. Okay, so dito po no, ang sagot lang natin ay yes or no lang po. So, sa pinakauna po, makikita natin dito, no? Sign in your account sa Google AdSense. Okay, daan na po tayo dyan. Okay, sa homepage. And the value you're looking is leveled balance. Okay? So, sagot po natin dyan ay yes. Okay? Pangalawang tanong po, no? Have you received your PIN? So, hanggang ngayon, no? Hindi pa natin na-receive. Okay? At pang tatlo na po natin nakapag-request ng PIN. So, the answer is no. At last question po, no? Have you already requested for replacement pins? Okay? So, actually, no? Pang tatlo pa natin. Okay? For recent. Okay? So, as if na lang po natin. Okay? Naka pang-apat na po tayo, no? Sa ating replacement pins. Okay? So, the answer is yes. Okay? So, lalabas po ito. Okay? You'll have four months. Ganyan, no? So, magkita po natin itong, okay, contact us. Okay? Ito po yung ating i-click, no? Para makapunta po tayo dito sa okay? Ito po, no? Yung PIN. Alright, so take note po, guys. Hindi po magamit itong manual verification until 30 days have passed. Okay? Since naiso yung 4th PIN or nakapag 3 times visit na po tayo. Okay? Required field po nito ating name. So, input pa natin yung complete name natin. Huwag po yung YouTube channel name. Okay? So, ito po. Ang email address ay default na po yan. Diyan na po. Okay? AdSense Publisher ID. Okay? Start with PUB po. Pwede nyo pong i-copy-paste yung nasa Google AdSense niyo po. Okay? So, input nyo po, no? At double check ulit pa ulit, ulit po. Okay? And submit an attachment. So, choose file, no? Sa ating phone or sa ating computer. Okay? Files. Okay? So, pwede po yung nakascan na. Okay? Or, pwede po yung na-capture using your phone. Ito po sa akin po, no? Using my phone. Ayan po. Okay, I'll use my humid ID. Ayan po, no? Primary ID po kasi ito, eh. So, ito po. Okay. So, ayan. Alright. So, ayan po, no? So, always double check, guys, no? Okay? Check nyo talaga. Okay? And, pag okay na po, you can click the submit. Ito po. Your email has been sent. Okay? Okay? The form has been submitted to AdSense support. So, 24 hours po na. Within 24 hours, mag-response or 48 hours. So, after natin mag-fill up, meron po tayong na-receive ng email from AdSense support team. So, sinasaad po dito na investigate muna nila yung issue and also mag-reply po sila as soon as possible. Alright, so another email from AdSense support team. Basahin natin. Thanks for sending your proof of identity. I'm happy to let you know that this fulfills the address verification requirement for AdSense. So, ibig sabihin po niyan ay verified na po ang ating uh, billing address. Okay, so please note that you may still see the payment hold notification in your account. Rest assured that your PIN has been verified and notification will disappear within 24 to 48 hours. So, ibig sabihin po niyan ay makita pa rin natin yung notification doon sa ating Google AdSense. Okay, so dapat po natin ensure po na verified na po ang ating billing address doon. Okay, titignan natin mamaya. Alright, so 24 to 48 hours po yan mag disappear Alright, so now that you've verified your address, okay, please ensure you've completed these additional steps to getting paid. So dapat po natin gawin ito para po mabayaran na tayo. Pinakauna po dyan, okay, just a form of payment. Ito po yung uh, admit payment method po. Meron po akong tutorial. You can check po sa aking uh, description box. Okay? Number 2 po ay check if your balance has reached the minimum payment met threshold which is 100 US dollars. Dapat po no? Above na po dyan. Okay? Mag-reach po natin 100 US dollars. And lastly, review our payment timeline to learn when you will be paid. So, dapat po natin no? Basahin or tingnan po yung uh, payment timeline. Okay? Para malaman natin kung kailan po tayo babayaran. Okay? So, more or less po no? Yun po ang laman. Okay, so pupunta po tayo doon sa ating Google AdSense. Tingnan natin po kung verified na ba talaga. Okay? Wow! Yay! 
Yes, your billing address has been verified. So I'm so happy. Okay? Kasi verified na po no kahit hindi maabot yung ating PIN. Okay, so titingnan po natin yung first email ni uh, Google Adsense para sa ating Google payment. So ipapakita ko po sa inyo. All right, so ito po, check your recent payment. So after 5 working days po ay ita transfer po doon sa ating bank account yung first sahod natin. Okay? So gagawa po ako niyan, no, ng video about my first YouTube sahod. So abangan. All right, so ganun na po kadali mag manual verification using our troubleshooter. Okay? So ngayon po ay isa shout out natin yung mga active students natin. All right, so mega love shout out to All about Mako. Mega love shout out to MGRFWKZ. And mega love shout out to Josie TV. Alright, so I hope guys, no marami kayo natutunan. Okay, and also don't forget to like and subscribe Ken's TV. And hit the notification bell para updated kayo palagi sa mga bagong video na i-upload ko. Thank you, thank you so much po mga Chuyans. And see you po, okay, sa next video natin. Bye-bye and peace out.